Liverpool Marathon returned to the city after nearly 20 years absent. JMU journalist and website editor Liam Devaney was looking forward to his first ever marathon start in Liverpool. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. I know it's going to hurt. I think everyone in, in, the, in the field knows it's going to hurt. But I'm going to give it a go. Get there to the end. That's the, that's the target. And to survive. The 2011 Liverpool Marathon has been delayed. We are waiting on police clearance. As soon as we get that, we will be able to start the race. After a 45 minute long delay, the marathon officially started. <laughs> JMU journalism senior editors Hugh O'Connell and Chris Shaw did also participate in a marathon. I think we're doing alright, aren't we? We think we're doing alright, we'll be glad when we get through the tunnel. Yeah, we're looking forward and to the Liverpool <laughs> side. One minute earlier, Liam Devaney just passed. He was not looking forward to getting through the tunnel. It's going to start hurting, I think. If I'm not the other side of the tunnel, I think that's where it's really going to kick in. So I can't say I'm looking forward to that, but here we go. While the runners could enjoy the sun during the first half of the marathon, something quite different was waiting for them in Liverpool. After the winner, John McCall had completed a course at 2 hours and 34 minutes, the rain came to the city centre in Liverpool. One of the runners, Stephen Harrison from the Wirral, finished a little too late for his personal goal for the marathon. I had a target in mind, I wanted to run under three hours. I knew it was going to be quite tough and uh, unfortunately I didn't quite make it. I, did. I was on, on target at 21 miles and then I started suffering with cramp and slowing down. I did it in three hours 09 in the end. So uh, it was a quite a good experience. The crowds, the support were brilliant. When you come out of the tunnel, everyone there lining the street, cheering you on, it gave me goosebumps. It gives me a big lift as well. All the runners from JMU Journalism completed a marathon. Hugh O'Connell was really pleased with the event. Uh, I can't really stop smiling like this. It's, it's one of the, I think it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm really glad I did it. I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm, I'm really, really glad I did it. So. Will you do it again? I don't know. We'll see. No, maybe we'll see how I recover over the next week or so. But. I don't know, it's, it was really, really tough and at times it just was the, the worst thing in the world but I guess to get that kind of feeling when you cross the finish line is it's a pretty good feeling so yeah, maybe it's worth it in the end, I'm yeah, feeling really good about it. Though, so. so on the 11th of August this year and we were running six marathons in six days, doing it in aid of Macmillan Cancer Support UK. When I was 13 years old my mum died of cancer and ever since then I've been doing large scale charity events to raise as much money as I can. And this is my third and final big event. This is just going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm outside my comfort zone running one marathon, or at least I was before I started training. The thing is with these events is you've got to make it difficult. If it wasn't difficult, everyone would be doing it. When you do an event like this, you really do start to realise that people are inherently good and good people do good things every single day. People will start running for the first time ever just so that they can run with me. People will come out when it's pouring down with rain to train with me. People will help me push myself and push myself day in, day out to make myself fit for August. It's really inspirational. It's not just about donating, that's incredibly important. I also want people to